hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Talking, we ain't passing no drills. Woofing on the team on bloods that get bitch niggas killed. And by the way, I keep it on me in case you happen to slip. Cause when we catch you, fill you up, you don't get half of the clip. Bitch, we ain't turning down no fucking, we ain't passing no drills. Speaking on the team, I don't gotta get you pumped, bitches killed. And by the way, I keep it on me in case you happen to slip. Yo, bitch, leaking it. I need everybody to go on New Orleans page and write free K Sean, bro. Let him go. He don't wanna work with y'all. Y'all got y'all people respectfully that y'all are choosing to use respectfully you already know what it is man salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content whether religiously or in passing you know who i be follow me on ig vada underscore fly tell your mama i say hi yeah 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 um there's a couple things i'm gonna talk about in this one uh urls outside event what battles happen etc 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 trust me i know and see all things uh the only battle that i saw heard know all about is tay rock versus uh snake eyes there were some other battles on the card. DNA versus Calico. This is actually a get money and drink water slash URL event. Uh, you had Calico, like I said, Calico versus DNA. Swamp versus uh, Saga. That was one round. DNA, I mean, Danger Zone versus Shotgun Shug. That was another one round. If you're on Twitter or social media, there's clips of a lot of these battles floating around. Uh, Tay Rock. Versus Snake Eyes is a very, very, very good battle. Uh, I think when you see it, you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised. Uh, Snake was dancing in his first. Uh, he definitely had some shit. I'm not even going to hold you. Uh, I believe it was his first round where he took a shot at Nunu Nels. That bitch landed, too. He said some He's Don't quote me, but it's close to this. As close to... You know what I mean? It's close to this. He said some shit like... Uh, you out here posting pictures with Slade when he was snitching on niggas and ain't Surf supposed to be a bro? Ain't he locked up because they were snitching on, like like saying that Surf got snitched on. That's why he's in jail. And you out here posting pictures and that's why he's in jail. Like that shit went hard. I think they was going back and forth for a little minute. Uh, rock, uh, Snake was dancing in his first round. He had a lot of rock punches, a lot of rock flips, and you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Uh, Rock's first round, he came out here very good first round too. Uh, second round, Snake was bombing. He had some moments in there from what I seen and heard. Uh, he, uh, it was a little bit shorter than the normal rounds that he has. Rock round, he goes and he wilds out, shit like that. Uh, third round, Rock was super crazy. Like I said, I know things and see all things. Uh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Let's move on. Um, Jack Boy Main had a lot to say about Kayshawn's situation with you. Come on, fool. Like, you ain't got to stoop that low, bro. I got nothing to do with y'all situation, bro. Whatever y'all got going on business-wise, I got nothing to do with that, bro. Ain't no conspiracy, bro. Like, stop playing with me. Like, what? And now what we gonna do is we gonna run through the day, y'all. Uh, if you haven't seen, K-Shine released a video. He was basically snapping on URL, trying to get free. He wants out of his contract, whatever the case may be. And he used a scenario where, see, K-Shine's been having some unfortunate luck with URL. I will say that much. Um, he was supposed to, he said in his, uh, in his live that he was supposed to battle against Daylight. And the Daylight battle didn't happen. And now they're holding that over him and then he was supposed to battle Jack and then Jack had wound up having seizures and um he couldn't do the battle so k Shine had basically went on a rampage yesterday on um IG and shit like that and was basically saying that you know niggas have sent my flight to the wrong location I have been said that there was friction amongst them and Shine always mentions that you know he's never been a yes man and that's one thing I will say that k Shine co-equivocally has never been considered as the top gunner for URL or, you know, I smack me doing this, you my brother, you my brother. He never really talks to k Sean like that. k Sean said the reason why is because he don't kiss ass and he's not a yes man and he don't march along to the beat. So he's never going to be considered as the face of none of these names that they give everybody. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Y'all don't want me to display this talent somewhere else. I know why. Because I'm going to do that same shit 
over here and it could have been on your platform. Let's keep it funky. Let's keep it funky. So he goes on this rant and he makes a lot. And he, he was talking about, you know, battling in other places. And he was he called out Remy saying, Remy, you got plates over there. See, battle rappers, I told y'all niggas a long time ago. Battle rappers are going to eat where the food is at. They don't give a fuck about this whole family, family, loyalty, you're my brother, you're my brother, you're my brother. These niggas, you just seen a scenario where Twerk was rapping about uh, having to make a GoFundMe about working for millionaires. Remember I told you on other blog, rich, cheap niggas. Like, he, why does he have a GoFundMe? He should have never had one. He should be taken care of. But why? It's not about taking care of you. It's about taking care of business, right? It's not about people. We don't who. People, people don't give a fuck about you. I found out they really, like, these leagues and these uh, companies don't give a fuck about artists. Like I told you, I had, uh, my son was on the way, and I told niggas, I said, uh, yo, you know what I'm saying, I gotta get to this bag, man. Like, I can't be out here working for free, like, doing all this media shit for free, man. I got a kid on the way. You know niggas told me, man, we don't give a fuck about that, man. That's your personal business. In, in, in fewer words, but no, basically, we're not gonna pay you. And after that, I was gone. What kind of shit is here? <laughs> fuck that, man. Uh, I'm straight. Y'all niggas got it. I don't work for free. Um, so, they are now in a position as to where you got artists that are stepping out, making these claims. This about the contract, that about the contract. They just going, and, and now you have a scenario where k Shine wants out. I don't know all the schematics. I've seen scenarios with other artists, I'm not saying Shine. Other artists will get paid by URL for battles that didn't happen, and then the money gets spent, then the league wants the battle, and the artist don't want to do it no more. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, let's say I pay you 10, 15, 20 grand up front, you gotta battle this nigga on said date. Let's say said date don't, don't happen, the artist is looking like, yo, the nigga wasn't there, it ain't my business. Prime example with Jack and Sean. Jack and Sean was supposed to battle on homecoming, the battle doesn't happen. The artist is looking at it like, this man did not show up on this date. I need my money. I don't have nothing to do with them. Or the artist couldn't battle. I need my whole 20 grand. In a sense, you're thinking like, yeah, nigga, he right, nigga. I showed up in three rounds. I need my bread. The way a lot of these leagues work, and I'm hearing this with Ultimate Rap League, is they punt that battle to the next event. Like, nigga, we still want the battle. The artist now has gone four weeks, another month, that money that they had, that money spent. Now you're like, nigga, if I'm gonna do it again, I need another bag. But the league is feeling like, nigga, no, we paid you for last time. We paid you two months ago. And that scenario happens with artists. You see them fall out. When you hear these artists be falling out with the league and yada yada, more than likely, it's because the artist got paid for battles that didn't happen for whatever reason. And now the artist is like, nigga, I'm not battling for free. Fuck that. They'll be like, nigga, we'll book your flight to Orlando in your hotel, but you gotta come give us that battle you owe. And nigga, like, man, I ain't doing that shit for free. But think about it. If you got paid from your job a month ago, but they want you to come work 40 hours this week, it's like, nigga, I ain't going to do that. If you're not paying me for the time I'm here, just because the building was closed, you paid me, but the building was closed. That has nothing to do with me. Now the building's open. You want me to work the month? Like, it's just a nasty scenario. So it makes me think back to A-War. You know, a lot of people, they talk about A-War positively, negatively. Some people try to throw A-War under the bus, things like that. He's kind of looking like one of the smartest artists out here. Because he never signed any of those contracts. People threw him under the bus. And these contracts kind of restrict movement. They restrict movement for a reason, though. Because if you see, like with the whole Easy situation with Hitman, a lot of the people that Easy rolls with, they're very loyal to URL. Uh, Tay Rock, Sue Serve, Chess, they're very loyal. They're loyal to that company. But you're in a position now where you could become a big dog, but you got, in order to be a big dog, you gotta take some steps. Are you gonna step off of there? Are you gonna say, fuck it, I'ma just do my thing anyway? Or are you gonna fall in line? They like niggas who, they love niggas who fall in line. I'm not saying that anybody that I previously named does, but they like the niggas that's gonna rep the brand, that's gonna push that shit regardless of what's going on, that's gonna argue with different niggas, that's gonna jump on social media, that's gonna call uh, other leagues, KFC. Like, <laughs> remember when Surf used to say that shit? I never battle on KFC, I ain't bad, fuck them niggas, I spit on your floors and yada. He's not around to be the leader of that campaign anymore, unfortunately. Now all the niggas are starting to look over there like, nigga, that's money just like this is money. Like, I go over there and get me a quick 40, a quick 30, a quick 20. Why? Because that's what niggas is gonna do, they're gonna eat where the food is at. Um, I do 
would like to see the shit with Sean end in a, in a peaceful, you know, manner to where all parties can, you know, all parties and shit can fucking uh, move on and handle the business that they got to handle. But I don't see this ending well, per se. You know what I'm saying? It's basically what I'm saying. Uh, but with Jack, uh, Jack saw Shine's rant and uh, Jack was not happy with it. You know what I'm saying? Jack Boy Main was like, nah, like, you putting me in this because the reason why he put him in it is he was saying that Jack looked healthy and Jack has seizures. He has lupus. He has a, a serious medical condition. And I watched Jack Boy's live or his, what he was talking about it yesterday. He seemed very... your conspiracy theory shit bro I ain't in that shit man I'm not fucking in that shit man I do this shit day in day out with my health conditions bro that about the fact that he that K Shine would insinuate that uh he's faking an injury or that they, that you are always trying to pull some shit exactly I'm gonna tell you exactly what uh, what K Shine said in correspondence to Jack Boy Main's health he said he looks healthy as an ox to me and the staff in the venue said there were no emergency calls that night. Was this a scam to keep me in contract? You know what I'm saying? And what he's basically explaining is uh, the night that he was supposed to battle on URL Homecoming, Jack Boy Main did come to the venue. He was trying to get mic'd up, but then he had issues with his uh, lupus and he couldn't do the battle. Again, unfortunate situation for K Shine. League is probably looking like we still want the battles. He's saying he was supposed to battle Daylight. The thing about Daylight, Daylight is an anomaly. How many battles has Daylight supposed to have that didn't happen? You know what I'm saying? Like he's supposed to battle uh, Loaded Lux on Christmas Day. He told me this shit. I'm going to battle on Christmas Day. It's going to happen. It's going to be in Detroit. We only invited certain niggas. We only invited certain people. Blah, 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 blah. The battle never fucking happened. So that's why I said whenever a light pronounces a battle or says a battle is going to happen, I just take that shit with a grain of salt until I actually see a trailer Till I see a link where you can click and it's gonna be, other than that, I don't believe it because Daylight makes money outside of Battle Rap. He blogs, he's on TDE, and he probably costs a lot of money. Leagues are probably looking like, we don't have that go all in for one battle type bread, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these leagues, when they do that, you never see a big event from them again. Let's say U Dub. U Dub went to, uh, they did Loaded Lux versus Arsenal. I haven't seen an event from that. These type of names, when you pay this much money for big names, they could shut down your league. You, you could never have an event again. I'm not saying that's what it is with Daylight, but it leads back to the K. Shine situation as to where the battles that he's supposed to have are not happening, but the league is trying to hold him on to a contract. And like I said, I don't, I haven't asked. It really doesn't matter to me, like what the schematics are. But I will say this. Uh, Jack Boy Main was definitely not happy with the fact that uh, K. Shine would insinuate uh, that it was URL trying to hold him on a contract by using his health condition. And respectfully, um, in regards to, Shine, to Jack's health, he has been dealing with his scenario for a long time. He started getting graphics saying, you know, there's days where he can't walk. There's days, you know what I'm saying? He has to learn how to do all of this stuff again and to be thrown into the the, the 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 rut of what was going on with URL. It's just something that Jack Boy Main was not trying to feel. Um I will say this, like I previously stated, I hope that this shit turns out as well as it can, but it's very, 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 very messy. But again I will say, A War looks like the smart guy in this. I I'm sorry. Like he saw the shit from down the street and he didn't sign it. And now he can currently battle on any league he wants whenever he wants. I would not be surprised if we fuck around and see A Ward on goddamn Chrome 23. Nigga, I would not be surprised. He fuck around and get a plate over there, like, and then throw it at him. Like, look, y'all can't come here. It's nice here. Like, you can't, I'm saying, like, y'all, y'all can't come play outside. Y'all gonna do everything you can on that app, but you can't come outside and play. Um, like I said with Sean, I just thought that his situation would be handled so much different. Like a guy that's been, he's been around for a while. So to see it going down like this is kind of crazy. But like I said, Jack was not feeling and he was adamant about the fact. What y'all think? You know what I'm saying? Is Jack right to where if an artist has beef with a label, I mean, uh, yeah, if an artist has beef with a, a battle league, should they bring in other scenarios with other artists? I don't think so. I think your grievances should be with said league. Uh, like I said, K-Shine's turning up. We're going to see where it goes and it is what it is. Okay.
and we ain't burning down no funk and we ain't passing no drills. Woofing on the team on bloods that get bitch niggas killed. And by the way, I keep it on me in case you happen to slip. Cause when we catch you, fill you up, you don't get half of the clip. Bitch, we ain't